Hello, Kaitana Silva. My name is Charles Marine. I work with your local SEO professionals in, here in Philadelphia. Um, the reason I'm making this video is to give you three free tips to help boost your online presence. And why am I doing that? Because I know as a business owner, you probably don't have the time to work on your websites. You're probably too busy. And also you might be confused with the tons and tons of different uh, SEO people out there and how to make decisions. So I want to kind of prove myself by giving you three free tips. You can give them to your website person and um, help you start ranking higher and higher online. And we all know these days more and more people use Google to search for local businesses. In fact, there's an article by uh, Bright Local that says, 92% um, of consumers visit local businesses websites when deciding which business to use. So it's pretty important to be uh, ranking high in Google. Um, so without further ado, I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let's get going. So the three things I want to talk about are citations, content, and backlinks. Citations, content, and backlinks. So uh, just to get started, um, if someone Googles for a solar company in New Jersey, so they're looking for a solar company in a certain area. Um, the first thing that you see up here, first you'd see Google Ads, but I have my ad blocker on. And I wanted to do that just to show you that if you have Google Ads, there's a percentage of the population searching who have ad block, and you don't get to see that market. So Google Ads always a hit and miss. Then you'd see this area here that's called the map pack, and this has to do with citations. To get on here and to rank higher and higher, just depends on the number of citations. You have reputable citations from um, across the web. Now what a citation is, is anywhere your name, address, and phone number is cited in any directory across the web. For example, um, whitepages.com, Yellow Pages, Yelp, Home Advisor, any kind of directory, Dexnos, Yext, any direct directory. So it would be pretty, um, actually I have a tool that I can take this one of your top competitors here and see how many citations they have. I actually have um, 86 citations. Um, so it would be, it would be pretty I mean, looking at the directories, it would be pretty easy to just to go in and also include yourself in these directories. Not only that, if they have 36 cita citation sources, it would be probably uh, advisable to go out and get double or triple the number that they have so that you remain on the top of this uh, map back here. The second thing I want to talk about is content. Content has to do with everything on your uh, page, everything I've highlighted here, all the text pictures, the text behind the pictures, um, the what, whatever the pictures are saved as, um, all that is content. And with Google, they like to see about 1,000 to one to 1,500 words of content, good authoritative, keyword-rich content. And what that means is that um, the keywords that are associated with any of the services that you do, for example, when I search for solar company in New Jersey, that is a keyword. So if your if all your content is saturated with those keywords, Google when Google <clears throat> ranks all the websites, it'll recognize your website as authoritative. Um, I'm not sure. It looks like you have probably around 400 words, and uh, so it'd be good to up your content to uh, 1,000 to 1,500 words. The last thing I want to talk about, the section of the search that is below the map pack, we call it the organic searches. Now how to rank on these um, depends most on ba uh, backlinks. What backlinks are, are um, whenever a different web page has a link pointing to your website, that's a backlink. And not all backlinks are created equal. Meaning, um, let's say a McDonald's forum is linking to you, that will not rank as high, help you rank as high as if a, um, a solar company forum in California links to you. 
So I have a tool called AREFs here, and um, I use it to, it's a very, it's a popular tool. I use it to analyze different websites. And I took the first company here, NJ Solar Power, that ranks because everything else are just is just directories. So your highest, your toughest competitor, and I put both of you into my tool. And uh, first, let me talk about your website. Well, I can see you have about 754 backlinks. And the strength of the backlinks from a scale of 0 to 100, uh, most of them are not as strong. Um, I also just want to mention your ranking for certain keywords, 74 of them. Um, and these are the keywords I meant. For example, solar company in New Jersey. There's a volume of 300 people searching per month, but you're ranking at position 16, which is probably close to the, the third page. So you're not seeing that the kind of traffic that you would be seeing if you're ranking first for that um, keyword. Looking at your competitor, they have around 7,600... Oh, uh, and 30 backlinks. Now, once again, not all backlinks are created equal. They have a few high power backlinks, but the majority of their backlinks are low powered. Um, one trick that I would do is go in and find out what pages are good authoritative sites that link to theirs and make sure that your um, also there, and then I'd probably try and double the number of backlinks that they have. Um, but again, I really don't need to double them. What I'd need is more high quality backlinks. Now, what I'd like to show people to show why this is it's worth ranking is, um, okay, so for the term that I put into Google, the keyword, solar company in New Jersey. If there are 300 people right now searching per month, so they're looking for a company to, you know, for a solar job. So assume you were um, at, the, at the first position. In fact, with this tool, I can go into that keyword and look at the traffic by a domain. So you can see here, your top competition gets 23 people coming in. Now, if you ranked above them, maybe you, you'd probably, let's say on average, uh, maybe you took 10 out of that and your conversion rate was uh, 50%. So if the cost, and now I know, I understand these are just averages, but let's say the, the cost of, one job is 13,000 and you brought in eight extra people. So your, your gain just from simply ranking for one word, one keyword would be about 104,000. That's just an estimate now. That's assuming you take in about 16 people and your conversion is 50%. But what I'm what I'm trying to emphasize is that um, all these keywords, you could add more and more keywords. In fact, you could add all the keywords that your competitor ranks for. And then if you beat them, you'd be able to take so, a lot of this traffic, which is way more than eight people, eight new clients per month, in my estimation. Anyway, that's, uh, those are my tips for you. Um, thank you very much for listening so far. Um, that's content, citations, and backlinks. Um, give them to your website people. Hopefully you can implement them and get your ranking higher, get more clients in. If you'd like to save time, um, please, uh, you can go ahead and give me a call or email me. My number is 215-770-1621. My email is charles at your local seopros.com. Thank you for your time.